What's up, YouTube and all my Doge hodlers out there? Let's talk about the Doge and jump in and do some technical analysis. Um, that's all I'm going to do, actually, on this video. So if this is your first time tuning in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, smash that like, and come follow me on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account, you're missing out on a lot. That's where the huge community is. You can find pretty much anybody and everybody you want over there, from NFTs to stocks to moral support to emotional support to whatever you need, it's there. Uh, I'm going to be... Whoa, whoa. We're on the wrong screen. You guys are not... All right, I'm going to be looking at the one-day chart, and that's basically all I'm going to look at on this one um, because I'm a long-term investor, and I don't not, I'm don't. i a long-term investor, and I do not look intraday. I do for the years, you know what I mean? And what we have going on, basically, this is how what, I'm, what I interpret what we have going on. I don't know if anybody hasn't caught anything that's been happening in the last couple hours or even the past, I don't know, seven days, we've had these spikes and these drops, these rips and these dips, these rips and these dips. Um, I like to see those rips and those dips because we just had this dip that fell down on uh, pretty much the whole crypto market, but we recovered from it. And what I, when these dips happen that big, we need to get we need these lines because I like to use my um, simple moving averages and RSI volume and the MACD basically is what I use all the time. But I'm not using MACD right now because that does not even matter. Volume doesn't matter. We dislocated from our simple moving averages, our moving averages way back, way back over here. Okay. Nobody else can say that. No one can say that we didn't. That's what happened. So we have to be able to, we have to come down no matter what. Stocks and assets case cannot continue to run up. It goes up and then it comes back down to almost where it was, but just above it. You know what I mean? This is like taking steps. You're going to be just right above where your next step was just to get to the next one. That's how you're going to go with this. That's how I look at it. So when we're coming closer, we need all these guys to get closer with each other. So the farther down we get down and we dip, if we were to stay steady with a steady pace and continue, you know, slowly climb up, slowly climb up, slowly climb up, you know how long it would take for us to get these these simple moving averages back together? It's going to take forever because the way they are right now, uh, blue, green, and red, that's a no-go in my book. It needs to be green, blue, and red for me to be excited and know I'm back in a bull market. So anytime I see any chart and it looks like this on a one day, that just looks, it doesn't look, it doesn't look good. I mean, it looks good, but it just, it, I know we're not anywhere near it. That's why I keep saying somewhere around July, but with these big dips we have, we come down so much and then we eat it up. We, everybody comes in and buys it. It's, it's phenomenal. I love it. And, and that's going to give us that divergent we need with all of these, with our simple moving averages, they're going to diverge with each other much rapidly quicker than than anybody is expecting because if we were to do um you know not have these dips or these rips that these little mini rips and dips we've been having it would just steadily steadily with a slow slow pace and it would not be very very exciting right i mean i don't think it would be exciting if you're if i'm wrong Kyle, comment down below let me know what you think about that part but i'm still aiming for for july right here i'm aiming for somewhere right here in this period for me finally to have uh, my simple moving averages in line with the green one above the blue one and the red one on the bottom where they need to be. So it's getting there though. So the more dips we have and the more the more dips we have and the more we eat that dip up, then we'll be good to go. But if we're doing very well. It's consolidating. It's been consolidating very tightly right here. It's been sticking to its support levels very, very strongly. Its support right here is... Oh, wrong one. The support levels are just strong right here and the resistance is it's losing more and more and more and if you caught any if you've caught any of my videos like when i look at support and resistance what i want to see i want to see in a consolidation towards the support because then that lets us know we have a very we have a lot of support at the end of the day and we're going to be able to bust through the resistance if it was the other way around and resistance had more support if resistance had more support on this resistance side then it would be vice versa and we would run down but I like seeing these big old, these volatile, these, this volatility that we have and we've been having. And I hope it continues to, yeah, I hope it continues to, you know, not let us down. It hasn't let me down not once because if you've gotten in the pre-April, you would be nice right now. You wouldn't be uh, complaining about anything. You'd be happy as hell. I mean, if anybody got in right here, you know, I got in over here, you know, so I got in way back over here, but if anybody got in within this time, you were sitting pretty nice right now. For for, this, for 2021, if you would have jumped in in the beginning, you would be doing good, and you're still good right now. Um, I understand that there's a lot of people over here. This is a lot that are up here in this 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 huge range right here. But you know the back hey, hodlers just keep hodling it, and we're coming back for you. We're not gonna leave you there. We will come back for you just like we did on AMC. It's gonna be the same thing.
Just like GameStop. They all thought it was dead and look, it popped back up again. It will do it again. Just got to relax. Um, keep adding to your portfolio and not adding to the asset. See how I said that? But remember, this is not a recommendation to buy or sell any asset because I am not a professional. This should be considered entertainment use only before you buy or sell any asset. You should consult with one or don't be lazy. Look at some charts. Look at some articles. Listen to some random people on YouTube. The information's out there. Jump on Twitter. Look at some tweets. It's there. It's not that hard to find. Like the next time it dips, basically, put money to the side. And the next time it dips, buy a small percent. And then let it come back up. Because obviously, we everybody, I mean, I don't know if, if nobody's noticed it, but I've noticed the pattern. It has the dip and a rip. I mean, you literally can jump in and get it with, for, for a penny, maybe two pennies cheaper than it was selling for it a couple minutes ago if you sit there and have the money on the side. So do not go all in. Make sure you have some dry powder because looking at the charts, we are all, like, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're going to have another little, we might test. Uh, we're not going to even, I don't, I don't expect us to break out of this area right here. But I could be wrong. You know, like I said, we, I could be wrong. I'm not a professional at all. But if we stick to right here a little bit long, we test once we're able to bust through this one right here, we are going to test this uh, 31 cent, this 30, this whole part right here. We're going to test all of this right here. And I'm pretty sure we should have no problem with being able to break through that. Once we're able to break through this, this is a pretty heavy level of resistance right here that I see. But um, I don't see it. investor settlement is very strong. All everybody I talk to, all the groups I'm a part of, all the spaces I jump into, everybody's still excited about it. I mean, we just, re I mean, what the heck? We just recovered it. Let me jump into the intraday one real quick. Let's see how that thing looked wild. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> like we just, like someone just kicked us off the cliff. We fell, bam. And then we came in and bought it. And then boop, boop, boop. And then we're off again. So we'll see what's going to happen. Um, don't forget to come follow me on Twitter. Smash that like and comment down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.